Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can do a workaround for using GIFs inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So, technically speaking, DaVinci Resolve currently doesn't support the GIF format. So, if you wanted to take those little memeable animations and to actually include them inside of DaVinci Resolve, then what we're going to need to do is to break it apart into a sequence of images such as a JPEG sequence. So that's not very hard to do and there are a bunch of great tools for doing that in existence. So for instance, if we go over to the web browser, easygif.com is one such option. So over here on the right, we have the split tool. So we can split a GIF into many different images. So I'm gonna click here and then we need to select the GIF that we want to use. So I'm going to be grabbing this little squid gif, which is a simple animation, and we're going to bring that into Resolve. So let's go ahead and upload the squid gif, and you just need to give it a minute in order to process the upload. Okay, so now that it's loaded up here, we need to go down to split options and change it to output images in JPEG format. PNG, I think, would also technically work, but because we don't care about any transparency, JPEG is just going to be a more efficient format. So we'll use JPEG, and let's split it into frames. So here we have all the frames of this little animation, and down at the bottom, we're going to get download frames as zip. So click that, save it to your computer, open it up, and you're going to have all of the frames from that GIF animation uh, included in here. So... So what I'm going to do is extract these to the desktop in a new folder. So I'll just right click new folder and maybe I'll call this squid. And now we just drop all of these images into that folder. So now we can open up the folder and we'll see the thumbnails for all of the images inside of there. Now technically we're almost done here, but there is one more problem, which is that if you want Resolve to recognize an image sequence, then you need to have the frame number at the end of the name, not in the middle here. So one way we can do this, which should work, is to select all of the frames here, and then do F2, give it a name, but don't give it a number, and then hit Enter, and then in Windows, it'll take all of those files and give it a number after the name. So with that, Resolve should be able to recognize it. So with these images, all 48 of them, I'm going to pull them into Resolve. So let's drag this, hover over Resolve, find the media pool, and drop it in. So what you'll see is that it will say squid and then the sequence of images. So it's not squid 1, squid 2, squid 3. It just shows up as one clip as a sequence of images, squid one through 48. So if I double click this, we would actually be able to hit play here and you'll be able to see the image sequence. Now, whenever you watch a GIF animation, it's generally going to loop. So if you want this image sequence to play a bunch of times, what you could do is select it, hit control C to copy it, and then go to the after point in the timeline where it snaps here right at the end, hit control V and paste it in as many times as you want. So that's one option. You can just copy the clip over and over again, and it should play back seamlessly. Another option, especially if you want to use the GIF animation as part of another sequence, is that you can delete all of this stuff and then go over to Effects Library and Fusion Composition. So Toolbox Effects Fusion Composition. And then we drop this in here, and then we can create our own custom effects over on the Fusion page. So I'll go over to Fusion, and then we'll access the media pool here. I'll bring this in as a node. And then when this exists as a node, we have the option of putting it in loop. So if we check loop, then for the entire duration of this fusion composition, it is going to be playing back. Well, assuming that the node is actually active. So let's put it there in left view. So let's hit play. And you'll see it just keeps looping uh, regardless of how long our fusion composition is. So the simple way we can make that the output is just to take the media in and feed it to media out and... Now, this fusion composition clip is just going to keep playing the GIF animation for as long as the duration of the fusion composition clip. So to prove that, we can actually expand the duration. So I'll click on the edge here, and I'll just bring this out to 12 seconds or something, and we'll play it some more. And what you'll actually see is that the screen goes black after frame 150. So we need to make one more fix over on the fusion page. We need to go over to media in and change the out frame for this clip so we just drag this and we expand it to the end once again so this is going to be applying at all frames now and then if we go back to the edit page and hit play we can see that it is going to go past five seconds here so just make sure that you don't forget to update the frames there if you do change the duration of your fusion composition clip and you should be good to go 
So that is basically how you work around using a GIF inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 by converting it to a JPEG image sequence and importing it as one animation clip. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.